today is Monday, April 1st. My name is Lily, and also here with me are... Emmett. Brianna. Gavin. Samaria. Colin. We are your team for the nightly news. First, please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Here are the announcements. There are three after-school clubs meetings this week. Chess and robotics meet after school on Monday. Girls on the Run meets after school on Tuesday and Thursday. We hope you have a great time. This week, MCA testing begins. Fifth grade starts with science at 9.30 a.m. on Tuesday and Wednesday. Please do your best to be quiet if you are near the fifth grade rooms. This helps make sure students can focus and do their best on the test. Best of luck, fifth graders. That's all for the announcements. Now now it's time for the lunch menu. Here's the lunch menu for this week. On Monday, it's a chicken and vegetable egg roll, fried rice, steamed green beans, and a fortune cookie. On Tuesday, it will be French bread, cheese, pizza, steamed peas, and marinara sauce. On Wednesday, we have beef tacos with Doritos, cinnamon churros, and fried beans. For Thursday, look for a chicken empanada or bean and cheese pupusa with steamed corn. And for Friday, it will be a hamburger or cheeseburger or a fish sandwich with onions. I'm looking forward to Thursday's lunch. I'm looking forward to Thursday's lunch. I'm looking forward to Tuesday's lunch. I'm looking forward to the egg rolls. I'm looking forward to my home lunch. I'm looking forward to Monday's lunch. Now it's time for the weather. At the time we recorded this, the forecast was too far out for us to really be able to tell you what would happen. So it might be warm, it might be cold, there might be snow, there might be rain. We'll see. Thank you, Brianna. It's time to check in on our top stories. Let's take a look. This week on Signs of Spring, we're talking about barred owls and egg hatching time. You heard that right. We often think of birds having eggs in the later spring and the early summer months, which is true, but owls get an earlier start. The barred owl is a medium-sized owl, bigger than our songbirds, but smaller than our geese. It has shades of brown with a large round head and large dark eyes. If you live near a wooded area, listen at night for their classic, who cooks for you call. It's unmistakable. Barred owls tend to be found in older forests because they need large dead trees for nest sites. People will place specially built barred owl nest boxes high up in trees. But since those nest boxes are so high up, it's hard to see what's going on inside the nest box. In Indiana, however, there is a barred owl nest box that you can watch. It's been in operation since 1998. This year, Mama Barred Owl laid three eggs. And right around now, 
is when that first egg should hatch. Look at this data from this specific barred owl nest box site. The median first egg hatch date is April 7. After the female barred owl lays her eggs, which are usually two to three eggs, she incubates them for about a month. This year, Mama Barred Owl laid her first egg on February 27th. If you do the math, that first egg is due to hatch any moment now. When do you think the first egg will hatch? You can watch the Barred Owl webcam anytime by searching for Barred Owl webcam or by scanning this QR code. We'll see you next time on more Signs of Spring. Finally today, it's time for our Laugh and Think segment, so let's take a look. Hello, my name is Emmett, and with me today is... Vera. And what's your joke? Why do dads bring an extra pair of socks golfing? I don't know, why? In case they get a hole in one. That's a good joke. Hi, I'm Zamaria, and with me is... Stormy. We're interviewing you for the joke. What's your, what is it? How much money does a skunk have? I don't know, how many? One cent. That's a good joke. Hi, this is Gavin from the Nutley News, and also with me today is Mrs. Litza. And she's going to tell us one of her favorite hobbies is. I would say my favorite hobby is dancing. I've been dancing since I was just three, and I haven't stopped since. Cool. Do you mind if you show us some moves? Sure. This one I like to do when I'm cooking dinner. It's called Stir the Pot. It goes like this. Okay. And I have another favorite move, and it's when I wave my arm arms in the air like this. <laughs> nice job. <laughs> Thank you. Um, this is Gavin signing off from the Nightly News. That's all for this edition of the Nightly News. We hope you have a great week. And remember, be a knight and do things.